we're going to start a new video for you right and um, we're going to use you can either use whiteboard which is pretty reasonable it's, it's like a whiteboard you have at the school then you've got the chalkboard which are black or green you can have either of those then a glass board which you can draw from the back of it so that, that's pretty neat that is I like that one the best or you can have a custom made um, background which could be any colour or with the custom one if you go on to the custom one which I will do in a second Um, there is a special trick you can do with that which is pretty cool as well so let's just do that one first uh, let's just put a, a name of a title in um, let's try custom board All right so we'll do that All right so there we've got the custom board and we can change the resolution size to whatever you might want so you got 360p which is 640 by 360 then you got 480p which is 854 by 480 720p which is 120 now 1280 by 720 or 1080p by uh, 1080p which is 1920 by 1080 or you got Facebook and Instagram or custom if you go custom on there you can change you can change the width and height to whatever you want by just knocking off the constraint aspect ratio and put it square if you want to or something like that but I don't do that I'll go to um, 108 usually I use that one so what we're going to do we're going to try the custom one for the moment and if, if you see it's come on custom and it's got marker now I don't know what that is marker or chalk oh so you can use marker or chalk on it if you use a marker you won't get the chalk effect if you use the chalk obviously you get the chalk effect right so that's that's what that is I don't, I don't know that but that's the thing I haven't tried because I've done custom before but not from the start off like so anyway so we, we're on a custom one now what we can do is go to scene settings uh, use board let's take that off and you, you can change custom colour you can change that to oh, any of them colours you want like that right and then you can click on this you should be able to click on this and custom image and you can put your own image on that's what I was going to show you so let's go and look for an image hang on we're at the wrong thing here these are videos you can't put a video on look it won't let you do that I bet now it's not an image there you go you have to click on an image so I'll go and find an image alright so we've got some images let's have a look at my clip art try that let's try one of these yeah, let's have something like this let's try that might be too big might be okay though let's just do that'll be okay wouldn't it something like that let's do that yeah so we've got that image it's going to apply that on which is that looks pretty good and then you can add a character don't know why it would be there like that though but yeah there you go you add your character like that and that's pretty good isn't it you know so that's uh, that's the custom one anyway let's get out of that and go back to my videos if you have a look there is a sign to set my video so you can go back and discard that I was just, just showing you how to use a custom board right so now go back on to no title which is another one I've got ready for doing this and I'm going to change that to glass board right I'll change it to glass board and I'm going to change oh I put too many S's you don't matter right what I'll do is I'll go on to some scene settings and then change the board to the glass board because I like the glass board it's pretty good right now now we're doing the walkthrough and this is this is using a glass board right so um, we've still got the same things up there now we're in the new area right you've got first of all scenes scene settings you've got your characters your props your text 
your sounds and audio so you can put your voice over in there and things like that then you've got the marketplace and there's an arrow there which can knock all that off and put it back on if you need it right so you can make more screen room right now if you get to scenes first you got you got all these scenes that are here which are part of their group of stuff that they, they put on for you there's a hell of a lot of them to be honest they've added a lot more lately so there's, there's a lot of um, different scenes you can use in fact I've used some scenes for different things on this and uh, there's some nice nice scenes on there and I did some more as well so that's great um, and then you just you just pull them across and put one on and uh, let's try that one Adam and Eve one like that. that's it so don't eat from this tree <laughs> right um, that's that right now there's a categories here which um, is useful because it's got all and my library right, so that's all including my library and my library is the ones that you do yourself I haven't got any on the scenes obviously but on characters I will have some because I've, I've put some of my own stuff on there's characters right now you can you can add a character just by dragging it the same as you do with the thingy and um, there's lots of characters I've, I've added some of my own if you go on to categories my library I'll show you all the ones I've added right there's a lot of even that's my little boy that is Charlie I'll put him on there now add right you can replace with a picture or you can you know that's a picture of my little boy a yeah, good boy is put him there right um and what else can you do oh yeah if you want to add your own characters like that you just put, press the plus button browse and you go to wherever they are which you'd be on mine it would be on my own PNGs wouldn't it so my PNGs right so I've got some characters here can't show you I'll do you uh, I'll do an alien coming on I should do that one instead I'll do that one instead put the alien on oh he's too big oh dear I forgot about that actually he's too big um, let's do this Arab instead the Arabian man and king I'll do he's all right I'll have to check that alien I've got to put that right there he is straight on no problem the only thing is if you got if you put something like this on you might have to do the path and you, to do that you press this little um, pencil button I have done a tutorial on path so please see that one for this I'm not going to do it in this and the next one is settings so if you click on that you can see this the x and y position of the actual character at the moment his width and his height um, his rotate setting because you can have him rotated at a different angle or flipped opposite way around you know from left to right um, the color I don't know whether that really affects it much or the opacity will affect it because if you put it 50 percent opacity it's semi see through and then it initially the enter animation is draw and it, it automatically goes on to three seconds but if you want to you can knock that off and put none right and you can have the exit animation as a raise and that will go on to three seconds so it it come on automatically and it raise after three seconds so or it would take three seconds to erase it so it would automatically erase I think straight away let's just uh, apply that first and let's just do uh, get rid of that because I don't want to put that on um, let's preview that and we'll see what happens right this is all nice that's been put on nicely yeah okay so then two characters there and he's just oh yeah just automatically erase straight away that's the trouble with that that's that's what you can't do it you see like that. what you'd have to do is you have to have him up straight away and to have him on for a little bit you'd have to copy uh duplicate the actual scene and have him erase on the second scene rather than on the first one so don't erase it straight off because that doesn't work very well you know, so if you want him straight on you just do none and 
you know it won't draw him but you, if you want to draw him you have, you have to change it back to draw like that and you can change that to however much you want it to take to draw it if you draw it for a long while sorry that just went funny then and on right so I'll do that right um, it depends on how much you want people to see how, how much you draw really right so that's that um, next you get to props you can pick up any objects the different objects I've, I've put a lot of these on myself so look my library animals you can go to animals and pick up the animals oops what have I done there I've done something wrong that's gone into my marketplace I clicked on that by accident there's a fox there that would be uh, ideal oh it's arctic wolf sorry <laughs> I can't read <laughs> There's an Arctic wolf. I don't know what he's doing in the middle of Eden, but there you go. But uh, that's the sort of thing you get on the props. You can get animals. Well, let's have a look. Birds, brand. It's gone off. Electronics, food, furniture, general, household, household items. All sorts of household items and stuff like that. There's a lot of stuff on there. Right. I haven't put all these on. These are mainly what what the doodly have put on sells office supplies I mean I put a lot of stuff on myself but these are, none of these are, are mine my stuff is in um, my library they just come up with more stuff there that's what I'll put on put a load of stuff on there I'll, I'll put a lot of stuff on so but uh, so some of these I've designed myself and some of them are designed by doodly and the packages that they uh, send out especially if you've got ex enterprise which I have you get extra packages for that being a, a good member like you know um, as well as that we're on to text now and these are all the texts all you got to do is just grab one put it on like that you can click on it um, you got the settings the asset settings you can change the colour to yellow like and then you have to apply it and it come up yellow alright so let's just uh, bring that up a bit make it bigger so you can see it there you go right on I mean, it's the wrong colour really but you know that's, that's good colour anyway I mean I should have put a different colour on so you could see it better that's what I mean but that's how you put the t text on um, music you, you can use the music that's on here some of these are what I've put on myself let's do music like that a new dawn this is this is their music so you, all you do is just drag it down plonk it on and it'll come up in a minute on the music there you go now if you want to put um, yeah you know, I'll put I'll go back onto my library because I have some stuff on there which is which I might have anyway dude right that's I'll try that one put that one on they should say something because it's it's that's me talking on there on that bit so what you do is with the um, voice have you put on the voice over track which is the bottom one and the music goes on the music track right so you make sure you got the music down to about 10 percent or something so you can hear the the volume of your speaking so let's just put that on so you can hear it i don't know what i what I said on it. Hello, this is Town here, Town East Music. I'd like to say I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial um, and I hope you have a good day. Okay. So you heard that quite nicely, didn't you? There you go. So that's what you do. You put the voice over there. If you want sounds on, um, sound effects, like say the wolf uh, owling, or if you've got any. Um, I don't know whether there is any on there, but there might be. Froggy beep, game beep, gong, helicopter, horn, I don't know, loud pop, but maybe a bark or something. No, there ain't nothing, but I don't know whether there is anything. No. Well, just put anything on then. What should we do? Sky Fire Stun Gun. Should we put that on? Put that on. Oh, I'll, I'll need to make a what's it first, sorry. 
add a track first then you put your sky fight storm gun on put that on about about there right so right so we'll just preview that hello this is town here town East music i'd like to say i hope you enjoyed this video tutorial um, and i hope you have a good day okay Oh, you heard that? Yeah, that worked pretty good, didn't it? So what you need to do is, whenever you do a sound, you need to add a music track. Don't put it on the voice track. The voice track is just for voiceovers, and you can add more voiceovers as you go along. You know, you, you can just, um, as you can see, there's a voiceover track there. You can do that, uh, or you can add, add one that you can do with this. So you can do... Oh, now, here comes the uh, alien with his tongue gun. That's it, right? That's how you do that. So, so I've just added that using the voiceover from uh, Doodle itself. So we can just preview it. Hello, this is Tony here, Town East Music. I'd like to say I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial um, and I hope you have a good day. Okay. Oh no, here comes the uh, alien with his tongue gun. There you that's go. It. Right. I say you do that. Mm. So that's uh, adding a voiceover inside Doodly as well. Uh, if you want to delete it, just delete it like that. Uh, and go OK. Um, you can also um, fade in and fade out on them by, by right clicking at the end. And the same with the music. Now you can delete it and when you get to the end of the music the music will stop at the end of the scene so it doesn't matter how long it is on here if the, the end of the scene comes that's when it will stop so what you need to do is you need to take it back to where the scene end is right or you could add extra scenes and have it playing through I suppose you could do that so, but we're going to just show you how what to do when you have it like this. Right, so you go right back to there. Right, so we get it there. Now you can fade out. And if you use the fade out, you can drag. Oops, I'm going. You can drag. So there's a line there, which is part of the triangle of the of that. Get on it. What the bloody hell is playing up for? I don't know. Ah, hang on. You've got to get it that, that particular shape. Right, and you can drag it to make it longer, a longer fade, right? Um, That was just playing up for me then. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, never mind. At least I've showed you how to drag the fade along so it's longer, right? And you can shorten it back again if you want to. And you can do the same on the fading. It's exactly the same thing, right? Then so that's all of that sorted out now if you want a character or object um, drawn after something else you see this side here on the right side you've got um, you save which is usually greyed out most of the time because you don't need it most of the time because um, you can set it to automatic um, save anyway but these these plates here uh, what comes first and what what's the next uh, on the way down is the next one to be drawn right so first of all you get the background scene then you get the tree then you get the clouds then you get the words then you get the Adam and Eve beyond the bushes then my Ar Arabian king comes up and then the wolf and then whatever that is, oh, my double click and to, to text. Let's just get rid of that anyway. Don't need that. So that one goes goes off. Right now, say if you want to do the wolf before the Arabian king, you just put it that way on. You just, you just put the wolf in front. Sorry, you have to do it that way, and you can put a delay on, which delays the time for when the wolf starts being drawn, which means it gives you more time for watching Adam and Eve being 
drawn and that so you see them a couple of seconds right so that's the delay right and you can make them you can make them drawn a bit take longer to be drawn so you press duration and four seconds five seconds to draw Adam and Eve right now what we'll do is we'll get rid of a few of these other things so let's just delete that so it don't take so long to get round don't need that right so we'll just preview that so you can see hello it. this is Tony at Tony's Music I'd like to say I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial um, and I hope you have a good day okay now it's just taking longer for them to be drawn look as you see it took a bit longer now we're going to wait a bit before the the wolf comes up. That's it, see? That worked in the right way around then. Because I, I put the the king behind the wolf instead of in front. So that's how you do that. Right now, scene settings. We'll go back into scene settings and have a look at that. Now you can... While you you got it on glass board, but... If you want to do a new scene, you can change it to one of the other boards if you want to. And if you do, you can change right hand to left hand. There. Cartoon hands as well. Or no hand. By clicking on them. Exit animation. So if you do a scene, you can have an exit animation. Just swipe. Swipe right. Swipe up. Swipe down. Or erase. Or none. So it doesn't have to have a um, a transition. Um, you've got your subtitles, so you can put some on on your subtitles, like um, "Welcome to my video." Like that. You'd have to do one for each scene. Um, that's a, a problem with it. Um, it would be nice if they could put, um, be able to put the script in and you now the script and time the script or something maybe like that might might help. But um, you can change the font size and color. So font color is red, say, even though you're not supposed to read in red. But there we go, and then we can have the background in yellow or something like that. And then you put that on, apply that. Um, I don't know where, what the how do you change the font itself? I don't know. I think it doesn't give you an option to change the font. And underneath you've got the daily rainbow, which is the switch to switch it on and off. So you can switch that on and off, so you can have it black and white instead of uh, in color. Right now we're going to just show you, hopefully, with the subtitles on. Hello, this is Tony at Tony's go. Music. I'd like to say I hope you enjoy this video tutorial um, and I hope you have a good day. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's, uh, that's pretty good. And. Um, yeah, as well as that, let's go back up here. Um, let's just go on to the beginning. If you have a look up here, you can see it's got all there to give you all the things that are available, which at the moment I haven't changed from my library to all. You have to change from my library to all to get them all up, right? Um, the shared is something to do with um, sharing between affiliates, I believe, but I'm not 100% sure about that because I've never shared anything at the moment with that. So, um, Doodly Rainbow is on here as well, so you can switch that off if you want to. It won't affect the, what's it unless you, you got it. I don't know whether that, you can do it that way and do it now, it won't do it that way. What you need to do is go on to a character there and you see. All the other characters are in black and white except for the ones that you put in yourself. Right? But if you change it to back on, it will change them back. Wait a minute, let's go back up. On. There you go, <laughs> them are back on. It's just the others with black and white anyway. Uh, these ones just change like that. Right? 
and you can search for what you want to as well in that search bar um, as well as that over here you can save your project like that the preview is for if, if you want a preview and it is useful when you do um, when you click on the um, pencil if you want to do um, a path you can do it this way by you click on the plus sign because it's already got path one you get around the outside save and return or return without saving or you could if you wanted to change from reveal mode to, from draw to fade which will fade it instead so you don't need the path you need fade and then it will fade in slowly and let's show you that save and return so we'll do that hello this is Tony at Tony's Music I'd like to say I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial um, and I hope you have a good day okay and you'll see the Arab King in a minute he'll uh, fade in very slowly well it won't be that slow because I didn't change the time but it'll be slow enough see that one's been drawn now he's fading in yeah so that's that's a fading right um, also these are the symbols up here you got all these symbols are on everything that are on the actual scene so you got the flip to flip things around so you say that's the, the wolf let's flip the wolf round like that you can bring him forward so he's at the front or take him back I think that also affects where they am on this side as well which it does yeah right it affects where they am on this side so you can see if you do flip up and go behind the tree and behind everything so you can't see him and then you'd have to go bring him back uh -uh. as you can see he goes, goes down on that side right now this you can this is the um, zoom in and zoom out for the scene so you can see better what you're doing like say if you want to go into a particular part and see what's happening with that you can do it that way right um, that's that now if we go down to the actual um, timeline you've got the settings here which are also the similar settings to what's up there they're not exactly 100% the same but most of it is but it gives you the resolution erase mode smart mode so you know it works out with finger with eraser or off so you can change it to whatever you want whether you want to use the finger or eraser uh, swipe left you can change the scene transitions video ends when animation ends you can change that so you can have the music playing a bit later and you can change the hands the cartoon hands you know and all that through that way as well as the other way right then you've got this plus here which is um, an actual special panning and zooming area which I have done a tutorial on but I'll just cover it a little bit here and by clicking on it and the FX comes up and it gives you the start which is usually locked because it expects you to keep it like that and then you can use the end and squish it in like that, and do that and have it in the center part All right, and I'll just show you how, how that works right, so we start off hello this is Tony at Tony's Music I'd like to say I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial I've um, done it too early didn't I? I wait a minute sorry I didn't do that right <laughs> silly sod I forgot I've got to move it over a bit initially you got to move the first one over a bit because it starts up and you ain't got time so I'll move it over sorry that was my fault I never thought about it at the time never mind ok here we go hello this is Tony at Tony's Music I'd like to say I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial um, and I hope you have a good day pan in now okay. there you go that's panning in right now if you want to use it for uh, panning across what you do is you, you can leave it there like that. Wait a minute, let's do it. Let's do it differently. 
let's just take that off there and change that so we're going to go put that across this way change that change the start so unlock unlock it so we can go down there you want it roughly the same size and go from there and you can apply it then stretch that across so it takes a long time to do like that All right so now we're going to go back on the beginning of the preview hello this is town here town is music i'd like to say i hope you enjoyed this video tutorial um, and i hope you have a good day okay now it's going to pan across now so nice and steady there you go it's panning across that's the panning across right you can use it more than once as well the panning so you can you can pan and then add another one and you you don't have to put them together you can separate them by, by quite a bit or you can take it off if, by just clicking the X you want to move this effect from this on oh, yes of course I do right and that's basically it I think um, you, you, you turn up the sound by clicking on that you, you click on the actual um, speaker there or the speaker there or the speaker there um, you click on this plus button to add a voiceover on Doodly or if you go on to the, tune, the music you can add your own somewhere where's the, where's the add button you just um, import your own area if you, if you go on to all there's the plus button and you can add your own that way through audacity or something like that you know so you, you just drag it onto the thingy when it comes up on here simple as that really so to export the video you go on export here and you can change the name you can change the file format you can change the resolution so I'm going to change that back to 1080 and quality is maximum you can change that if you need to and the FIPS frames per second right so you can have a medium high quality maximum and constraint aspect ratio you can change that if need be if you change it to custom uh, you get to custom or and that so and then all you do is just go continue and then it all it should export um, if you have trouble with it exporting um, if it seems to be taking a long time what you can do is you can cancel it and export it a bit later on in the day because usually you find if it's taking a long while to export it's because there's a, a lot of traffic at the time on the internet uh, so it's your internet bandwidth the, the the main problem with the, how long it takes to export a, a, a video so um, you know one saying, saying seven minutes at the moment so I mean that ain't a lot really considering um, but um, you know sometimes it could take you know it could say over an hour or something you know so if that's the case just cancel it and try a bit later because it shouldn't take that long really for most of them right um, I think that's it really that's all you got to do is just to export that's fine so that I'll do that in a short while anyway that's that's basically everything I can think of on here um, I hope you enjoyed this video and please leave comments down below and please like and subscribe to Tony's music oh yeah just one more thing this show grid here you can click on that and it comes up with a grid and you can hide that and you can click this button to give you more room on that side too that's that's basically it. I, I can't think of anything else now so have a good day and i hope you enjoyed the video